welcome. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for meat pies, chicken pies or beef pies. I'm using turkey. You can use beef or chicken, whatever you like. And for this recipe, I have here three cups of all-purpose flour, one cup of ice cold water, eight ounces of unsalted butter. If you if you only have the salted butter, then the salt I'm going to add into my flour, you omit it. I have my pastry brush and my rolling pin to help me roll out the dough when I'm ready. So I'm going to add some salt, about a, about a half a teaspoon of salt into your flour. Just set your butter aside because we're going to knead the dough first. Mix your salt into your flour and add enough water to create a firm dough and we're going to knead this really quickly because we don't want that gluten to form. See how rough my dough is that's what you want you don't want it to get smooth so you can either put it into a plastic bag or you can wrap it in plastic wrap and put it into your refrigerator for 15 minutes okay take your cold butter and place it between two sheets of wax paper using your rolling pin you're gonna under this to flatten it out. Okay, remove your wax paper if, if it's ripped like mine is. Just remove it and discard it. And you have to move really, really quickly with this because as you can see, it's going to get done. Soft on you. Place it onto a piece of plastic wrap and fold it and keep it into your refrigerator until your dough is ready. Okay, now we're going to roll out our dough into a large rectangle to lightly flour your surface. Go ahead and open it out a little. Try to roll this out so you can get that nice big rectangle. Okay, so this size is pretty good. You want to make sure it's big enough that your butter will fit in it properly and you can be able to wrap it up. So that's what you're looking for. So unwrap your butter. Go ahead and fold your dough over. Now you're going to wrap this in plastic wrap. And place it back into your refrigerator for 30 minutes. Okay, take your dough out of your fridge and make sure and save your paper because we're going to use it again so just set it aside and lightly flour your surface so you're going to roll it this way the longest side up and down and you want to work pretty quickly because you don't want that butter to get soft on you I'm just using this to help me get it straight. Okay, so now you're going to fold it back.
and wrap it into your plastic wrap again. Now, as you can see, mine is a little bigger than the plastic wrap. So I'm going to wrap it this way. And if your plastic wrap doesn't fit, just use another piece. Because you don't want to leave this exposed in the fridge. It's going to dry out on you. Or you can use a cloth if you like. So I'm going to put this into my refrigerator for another 30 minutes. We're going to do this two more times. This is one fold. We have to do this two more times before our pastry dough or our puff pastry dough is ready. Okay, so now to make the meat filling for our meat pies. And here I have a small onion finely chopped, two tablespoons of minced garlic, some celery chopped, scallions chopped, bandania, hot pepper finely chopped, Whatever meat you want to use, make it's minced meat. If it's beef or turkey or chicken, I'm using turkey because I do not eat beef. Salt and black pepper to taste and some oil to cook everything. So to a pot or a skillet, you're going to add some oil. When your oil is hot, add in your minced meat. You want to brown this minced meat. Do not add any salt as yet. We'll add the salt once it's browned. Once your meat has gotten a brown color, you want to put some salt to taste. Black pepper. And all the other ingredients. So hot pepper. Bandania or green seasoning. Scallions, celery, garlic, and onion. The more seasonings you put in this, the better it will taste. You really want this filling to be nice and flavorful. So now you're going to cook this on medium low. So that all of those seasonings get nice and soft. It already starts to smell really fragrant. So my filling is finished. The onions are nice and tender. And I tasted it for salt and it has the perfect amount of salt for me. So make sure and taste yours and adjust your salt accordingly. Now we're going to put this aside and leave it to cool out. We're going to move on onto the pastry. Rolling out the pastry for this one. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is cut your pastry or cut a piece of the pastry how much you would like to use for this recipe. So I'm going to cut mine into a third here. I'm going to just cut it into thirds. I can always cut it after and put away the rest of your pastry into single bags and you can keep this in your freezer for a couple of months they stay really good and once they're nice and sealed they won't dry out on you before you continue put up your oven to heat up at 400 degrees Fahrenheit now lightly flour your surface and roll out your dough into a thin rectangle So I've rolled out my dough and it's about 12 by 16 and what you want to do next is so you're going to cut them to the shape that you would like. So I'm going to make mine into rectangles, you can make them into triangles, whatever you prefer. Next take your filling and place it on one side. You want to put enough filling okay. then you take this side and you bring it over to cover it and just stretch the dough because you want it to reach on both sides 
and then using a fork press down to seal the edges place it onto a baking tray and continue doing this until you filled out all of them so one thing is if you're finished making your pies and your oven hasn't come up to temperature place them in the refrigerator because you don't want them to go to room temperature now make an egg wash and brush the egg wash on your pastry place into your oven to bake on for about 10 to 15 minutes or until they're nice and puffed up so the meat pies just came out of the oven they're very hot at this point so i'm going to leave them to cool down and then i'll go break into one or cut into one and show you what it looks like on the inside so here you have my meat pie i just want to cut into one for you all to see and hear how it sounds you can hear that how crispy it is and flaky it's still very hot and this is what it looks like sorry this is what it looks like on the inside so I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe make it and let me know down below if you like it thank you all for watching and I'll see you all another day with another one of my recipes enjoy